Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix, and we are going to have a look at some of the best Star Wars toys ever. I'm talking about Classic Action Fleet. I keep mine in this bin here. So, we are going to check these out and have a look at all the detail on these. This is my collection. It is not a complete collection, so if you don't see your favorite, well, I just haven't acquired it. So, uh, I hope there will be no hard feelings there. But we're going to check these out and uh, have a look at, at the Zix's Action Fleet collection. Now, Action Fleet was uh, from the 90s. Uh, made by originally made by Galoob and uh, before Hasbro took over I think and uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna check these out and see how good they are I have the bin off to my side so I'm just gonna pull them out in the order that, that they are on the top so our first one is the Imperial shuttle it just happens to be on the top and I do not have the original boxes for these. I do not have the storage space. It, it came in a, uh, a very nice uh, packaging, but unfortunately I do not have the storage space to store uh, 20 or so of these uh, of the boxes, so I can't show you the boxes. Um, I tend to uh, break them up and, and throw them out. Anyway, here's the Imperial Shuttle. And... Uh, our, we got our landing gears for it to stand on and those flip underneath when you uh, lower the wings there's our Imperial shuttle in flight mode it has a lot of detail I'll have a closer look at, at, at the detail I think we can move these cannons a bit and we have our uh, pilot's cabin up front with two guys in it. So let's have a closer look. It has a stormtrooper, and I guess that's a pilot in the uh, pilot's cabin there. We have a kind of sort of detailed interior with seats for these two guys and a sticker in the back there with some sticker detail and the, the really cool thing about Action Fleet is we get these little guys and they, their feet are molded together but they can sit and sit down and you can move his his arms. His arms usually move together. Well, we get these cool little figures that are very detailed to uh, to put in our ships. There's a look at that. We'll just he needs to he needs to sit down some more. We'll just put him in there. And our stormtrooper with a blaster. And you can you can open that up and put your pilot in. Let's have a look at some, some of the detail on the ship. A lot of bolded detail. They did a great job of these on these during during the uh, the 90s Here, there's a lot of detail underneath and that's where the uh, landing gears go we got a place where you can um, it came with a stand but I don't use those it came with a, a plastic stand so you can put it on That's a look at the Imperial Shuttle. Next up is 
the Imperial Landing Craft. And this is a good one. It's got the uh, the wings like the Imperial Shuttle, and those can fold in. It's got a, another landing gear that we flip in. And there's our Imperial Landing Craft. vehicle we just flip up our landing gears flip that down to land it's got the opening the opening cockpit and an opening side compartment there and I believe this 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 little circle part here is for plugging in a um, a hose that you would get uh, with a base you could get a Death Star base or a Rebel base and uh, park your vehicle there plug in a hose to a lot of these vehicles and um, refuel them but we got lots of detail and underneath it has a little compartment there with a blaster gun let's put this down for now so let's have a closer look at this vehicle Here's a close-up look at the little blaster gun that that flips out, and it is all the way out. You can turn that. Here's a look at our compartment on the side, and all the detail in there. Be interesting to get some paint pens and paint these in. Paint those in white or red because they're they're lighting panels type things. But it is cool as it is. Here's our uh, cockpit on this one, and we have some our stormtrooper fell over a bit. So, uh, yep, there goes our Imperial officer. We got uh, a sticker that was put in there. I did not have to put that in there. It came that way. This is back when, back when uh, toys like this were really cool. We got our officer in there, a stormtrooper. That is really nice. We got uh, the rest of the vehicle there. And our wings in the back. And lots of detail on the underside there. That's where you push up to, to get the little gun out. You can push that down in there. Concealed weapon. So there's a look at the Imperial landing ship. Next up, let's see, what do I have here? We got Django Fett from Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. This is the only one from that era that, that I have. It was affordable, uh, much more affordable than the Republic gunship and uh, like the ATTE and stuff like that. also have Boba Fett and it's 
got Boba Fett in there. We'll have a closer look in a moment. His uh, steering vanes or whatever these are. Go up like that. Got a lot of detail on this. And if you go like this, it opens up. And it, it came with Han Solo and Carbonite that fits in there. I, uh, I set that aside because like, I was so traumatized by what they did to Han Solo, my favorite Star Wars character. I set that aside. Anyway, you can fit that in there and open it up. You got your And this one doesn't really need to do much to land. So let's let's have a look at uh, Boba Fett. There he is, and he is holding uh, a, a gun. And there are stickers in there with uh, uh, getting some getting some shadow on the other one. There are stickers with. Uh, detail that were applied in there on the sides and he fits into a chair there lots of molded detail as usual and then we have Django Fett this one did not come with Django Fett they they stopped making those little figures so I put Bosk in there he's from a bounty hunter set I believe it has the same sticker detail and the same features it does not come with a Django Fett figure and nothing to put in there the detail and painted detail very nice and there's another look at Boba Fett next up we have some X-Wings here's, here's Luke's X-Wing see if I can get the landing Landing gears out. And another one. This is from a larger set that came with a, uh, it was a flight controller. It comes with a flight controller and you put it on instead of using the stand. And, um, you can hold it like a gun and you're holding it and you can press the button for uh, sound effects and stuff and I picked these up really cheap we got another one I picked these up really cheap to build up a fleet of X-Wings and that opens up We've seen how the landing gears work. We got uh, R2D2 in there. And he just fits onto that knob in there. We got our opening opening cockpit. We can put our little figure in there. And yeah. It has the uh, the part where you can plug plug in a hose and to refuel the ship at at the the rebel base. Picked all these up really cheap, and I put Admiral Akbar in this one. Let's have a closer look. There's Admiral Akbar in there, piloting an X-wing. 
but we can see some of the detail in front of him there we got our R2-D2 droid there's our landing gears And it's even got detail on, on the inside of the wings there. That isn't going to show much. This is Action Fleet when things were very well made. And the other two are the same, the exact same vehicle. Let's see, do we need to... Uh, that's pretty stable. You just close up your wings and you're good to go. You don't have to adjust the middle part. I think that's Luke, the usual pilot that comes with this. What's next? Oh, we got this one here, the Rebel Blockade Runner. And that one has this landing gear. Let's see, can I, yeah. It's got the, uh, radar dish there does it have one? yep on the bottom and it has this part that opens up in the back and you can plug the hose in to refuel your ship when it's at the uh, at the rebel base we got our point defense cannons on that this one's kind of loose. This one's a bit... A bit more stiff, like it should be. And up front, we, we got the... Uh, you can put your little figures. Let's have a closer look at this one. We got Princess Leia and the Rebel Trooper in there. And again, I did not have to put those stickers in there. They were already put placed in there. We got some some detail for our characters as they sit in the uh, on the bridge of this ship. Lots of molded detail. Lots of molded detail. that opening hatch in the back it's even got detail on the inside of the uh, the hatch that opens up anyway you can you can plug a hose into there from from the, the rebel base park it at your base and refuel it fun stuff from the 90s our landing gear so that, so that it can land it's got a little window up front what else do I have well, I have one from episode one. I'll show those later. Um, I have this B-Wing here. This is a nice one. We can open these up. It has a little landing gear. Let's see. Here, you flip that in. It has a little landing gear. And you can attach it to the stand. Although it hardly needs the landing gear. This 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 can you just straighten that out a bit. It'll sit on that. And 
that's where you would plug in the hose to refuel it at a base and our cockpit can turn like that Ooh, it's not straight now it's now it's fine Personally, I like it like this. I think it looks cool like this. And you can put your pilot in there. And I put Greedo in there. I think he's from the Bounty Hunter pack or something like that. Let's have a closer look. There's Greedo in the cockpit. Not much detail in this one. Um, not much. You just put your little guy in there. But it's really cool to be able to put these, uh, put the, these these little little figures in there instead of just having a model of the ship to play with. It's a nice feature. Anyway, we have uh, the usual molded details, and painted detail. On this, we got the engines. And blaster cannons. Let's have a look at the front. Oop. Next step, grab another rebel ship. The Y Wing. Now, this one is really nice. It's got the landing gears and there we are it's got an R2 unit back there we can open up the cockpit and our rebel pilot is in there looks like we have some sticker detail I'll show that in a moment we got some clear plastic in the back to make this uh, stable really well made so you can see the engine in there it's supposed to uh, it's supposed to be nothing here except except the engine and then and there's where you would plug in your hose to refuel it at the base and this forward part comes out I think on the box it said it was some kind of sensor array or something so let's have a closer look at this one here's the front we got our cannon on the top let's see yeah it's just got a lot of resistance on it but that's a good thing and it won't flop around we got our forward cannons open this up we got our pilot some sticker detail chair for the pilot and just put him in there R2 unit this is that part that opens up Got detail on the inside. I really gotta push to get it back. There we go. That snaps into place. Yeah. How do you do it like that? This is Star Wars Action Fleet by Galoob during the 90s next I'm going to show some TIE fighters let's get out the TIE fighters we have the TIE bomber this is a really nice one 
and let's see, pull this down. It shoots a missile out of that opening there. You, a spring loaded missile. You plug the missile in, close it up. Where's the trigger? Back here, maybe? I don't like spring loaded missiles, so I set the missile aside so that I won't accidentally shoot it across the room and lose it. We got our cockpit and this part slides back. Looks like we have some sticker detail in there and a pilot. Tie bomber. Let's close this up. Show the bottom. Let's have a look, a closer look at this one. I don't know how well we can see in there. Let's see if I can get a better angle here. We got some sticker detail inside with our Imperial pilot. Lots of molded detail. Oh, it has a part in, in the middle that opens up. And this part comes out. Is, is this part of the engine or something? Maybe you can plug something in there to uh, refuel it or something. At the Death Star base. There's the TIE bomber. Next, I got the regular TIE Fighter. Here it is. And it opens at the top. And it has some sticker detail, but it's really hard to see in there. And our pilot fits really tight in there. There's a lot of molded detail as well. Part the engine in the back flips down and pulls out. And again, we got this part with the two two round parts. So maybe that's for doing something at the Death Star base. Plug that in there. These are very sturdy, really well made. And we got Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. I got this one with the, um, this is the version that comes with the flight controller. So you, you plug it on top of this gun like thing, press the trigger for, uh, it shoots missiles and it also has like Darth Vader's voice or something like that. I set that that part aside because I just wanted the ship. We got you can open it up in the is that as far as it go? Yeah. And plug in a hose to refuel the ship at the, at the Death Star base. And it is very dark in there. Tie fighters generally don't do much. They're cool though. What's that MSI? Then we got the TIE Interceptor. And this is a darker shade of blue. This is back when TIE fighters were blue. So we got the TIE bomber in that shade, the different shades of blue. And then we got the regular TIE Fighter in a lighter shade of blue. 
and Darth Vader's TIE Fighter in a really light shade of blue there and the TIE Interceptor we got our pilot in there our engine and our wings go further out a bit Turn it in the back and the wings go further out a bit. Let's put him over there. And we got the at at walker. Straighten out the legs in the back there. All these legs can move independently of each other, but they're perfectly uh, situated for him to stand like that. And this part of the side opens up, and there is a snow trooper in there. I can jostle him loose. There he is. Let's see. There's a wall there, and so you can fit a lot of figures in there. It's got these nice little railings, so you can park it, move it, move it up next to a, a platform, and your troops can debark, disembark, and we got our pilot up front, and our guns. This one and the TIE Interceptor are left over from my collection during the 90s. I, during the 2000s, I, I sold off my collection, Action Fleet collection, except for a few of them because uh, I was desperate for money or something like that. And I've had to reacquire. So a lot of these are have been in the box for a long time. This was on display for a very long time. Might have some aging and discolorment. I tried uh, to clean it off uh, with with some alcohol. So let's have a closer look at this one. And all we have is a little sticker in there for a uh, computer console, our pilot. Lots of detail though. There's a compartment that opens up. Detailed legs. They're not adjustable though. There is the Imperial Walker. The head on this thing cannot adjust downward. And it also can't adjust left and right. It's just kind of stuck this way. It's kind of looking up a bit. That's the only thing I don't like about it. And we'll show a different walker. The ATST. This was sold in a small pack with Imperial troops. Let's see, can I get him to stand? And there was also a pack that a two pack that had the land speeder along with this one we got our weapons that move Does this one move yeah you can rotate the and we got a pilot in there
He's very loose in there, so he flops around. And our legs can just move like that. So you want to put some forward pressure on it. If you lean it back, it's going to fall back. It needs to be like like that. Even now, it's it's kind of unstable on its legs. Still pretty cool though. And this is from my original collection. I tried to clean it off with alcohol as much as I could. Get all the dust and stuff off of it. It has a discolored radar dish from being on display uh, for so long. I could not get, get that back the way it's supposed to be. I brushed it and brushed it with, with alcohol and it would not, the, the color would not uh, change back to white. This is uh, really nice. And it has uh, a missile that fits in there and you press the little button to fire the missile. I set the missile aside because I'm not a fan of uh, spring-loaded missiles. And we have three landing gears this, and this one doesn't even go in it, it just kind of flips in like that Let's see can I get that so this is what I was talking about in other videos uh, every model I could find of the Millennium Falcon during you know 80s 90s up until recently with the with the new movies only had these three landing gears and it clearly has and if you watch the movies it clearly has the, the additional ones we got our point defense cannon that can rotate another one on the top already seen the discolored radar dish and you can open this there's I put an Imperial officer in there so you can put a figure in there to be the gunner and then up and we got Lando Calrissian in there that's just a chair for him to sit in and he doesn't sit in it very well this came with the in a two-pack with the tie interceptor Millennium Falcon versus tie interceptor lots of lots of good detail really well made back compartment opens up we got our place where you can plug in the hose to refuel it while well, it's parked at the base and we have another compartment that opens up and there's a, a rebel trooper in there you can put extra figures in there really cool this is really nice I'm glad I kept this in a moment I'll show you the, uh, the few that I have from episode one Galoob continued to make these for episode one the Phantom Menace and we got the uh, Republic Cruiser here 
it was discontinued the action fleet line was discontinued after episode one and then recontinued um, sometime for episode two and by the time episode three came out it had been discontinued again and let's see front part opens up we got Qui-Gon Jinn in there Just a chair for him to sit in. Not very detailed. And then you snap it shut somehow. And there's a lever here. You can activate the engines. Just pulls the engine detail away. Lots of detail on that. Droid Starfighter. We can pull our wings open. And this one, yeah, th this particular one is, is kind of loose. And then you can pull this out, disconnect them, let's see, pull it all the way out. And, okay, let's pull it all the way out, disconnect them. And they're on little ball joint thingies so that you can have it stand up. And his head. Maybe rotate like this. Stand them up. Put his head back. S snaps together, push in. back to back to normal that's some cool molded detail and paint detail on it what else do I have the um, landing craft this one is really nice we have battle droid in there. We got some cannons that can move. You can open up the front. And there's a lever on the side and the uh, the tanks come out. It has a removable tank here. Lots of detail. And that is all of the uh, Action Fleet. That is my Action Fleet collection. 
we got TIE Fighters, X-Wings, we got our Y-Wing, we got our few from Episode 1. We got our Imperial Shuttles and stuff. Boba and Jango Fett. And the Millennium Falcon. These are... These are from the... Uh, the 90s it was a great line of, uh, of, of toys with uh, cool little little figures that you could, you could put in your put in the cockpit of just about every ship action figure action features things that things that move really nice I, I just don't understand why it was discontinued um, and why no one is bringing it back because look look at how awesome Action Fleet is just look at the look at the awesomeness of this uh, this collection of uh, toys here the Millennium Falcon TIE Interceptor and um the at at here are from my original collection from the 90s. They've been on display for a long time. I tried to clean them off with uh, uh, with some alcohol to get the get the dust and stuff and uh, discoloration cleaned up. The the rest are newer acquisitions and. Uh, rebuilding my action fleet collection so let's look at the Zix's action fleet collection by Galoob during the 90s and Django Fett here is from the 2000s when it was briefly brought back for episode 2 hope you enjoyed watching and thank you for watching